you mentioned Joel Embiid, who's having an MVP caliber season. Um, he's staying healthy this year, which I love. Um, you know, between him and, and Ben Simmons, and you know, we, we get on Ben Simmons about that jump shot a lot, but you know, we can't look past the fact that he may be the best defender in basketball right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'll take in an all NBA defensive player, you know, if he's not going to shoot the, shoot the three or shoot the jump shot as much, but he's still locking down on defense and he's got the 76ers in first place. Do you think that the Sixers hold on or do you think that the addition of Blake Griffin now pushes the nets and they wind up finishing the season in first place? Well, I think the 76ers can hold on um, and be that number one seed going into the playoffs. I just don't think that they're going to be able to make the finals. I think when it's all said and done, they will get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think that Embiid has stepped it up this year. I always have my questions with Embiid, not because of his talent, but because of him being locked in, him um, being immature in the past. I wanted to see that maturity, and I'm starting to see it a lot more than I did before. And Ben Simmons, yeah. Do you attribute that to Doc Rivers? Yeah, I, I I would say so. Coaching always matters. If you get your guys to buy in and, and um you know be there and be you know how can I say availability is the best availability. So if you can be able to get your guys to buy in and lock in and actually play hard and take advantage of that talent that was God given, then it has to do with the coaching, I believe. And I credit Doc Rivers for, for that because he has those guys playing good ball. And I think that they're going to make the Eastern Conference Finals. I think Ben Simmons um him not having a shot may affect them down the line because they need more scoring. I think they don't have as much scoring as they need um, going against the likes of the Nets where you got, you know, <laughs> all them superstars over there with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. You got a lot of guys, James Harden as well, and you're going to have to outscore them. Um, I know they, they defense is not as good, um, clearly, but one thing about defense is effort too. You know, if you – have the effort and you fly to the ball, you can be a good defender. Probably not a great defender like a Kawhi, but you can be a good defender. Getting rebounds, all that is hustle. So if the Nets, I'm let's say they don't try to stop all them scores that Brooklyn got. Yeah. So let's say if they don't make another move, which I think they should, I think they should get probably a JaVale McGee, um, a center, something like that. Um, if they don't make another move today, then they're going to have to raise that effort level on the defensive side of the ball. And if they can just do that, they don't need to have a great defense. All they need to have is a good defense. I don't think the 76ers or any of these teams stand a chance against the Nets in the East. Now, the West, that's a different story because you still have LA as well. And we don't know what's going on with Anthony Davis over there as well. So that's something to keep an eye on. But the Nets, man, I think it's their championship to lose. So you got the Nets and the Sixers in the Eastern Conference Finals, correct? Yeah. yeah. Which which means that the Bucks make another second round exit, which, you know, now that Giannis has signed that contract, I think that kind of gets a little bit tricky because, you know, if he's not making it out of the second round, I don't know, that might change things moving forward. He might want to get up out of there and get, get to a team where he can get to, at least get to it in, in NBA Finals. Yeah, I mean... Um, I have my question with Giannis, you know, um, I think Giannis is a guy and I listen, I like Giannis. I think he's a talent and he's one of the best players in the NBA, but I noticed with Giannis in the regular season, guys don't really play defense. Only a handful of guys actually play defense and the rest of the guys, they don't play defense in the regular season. They trying to preserve their bodies for the playoff stretch and, you know, with the intention of getting to the finals. So Giannis is able to do what he do at a high level in the regular season. And when it comes to the playoffs, we all know how you play Giannis. You play that zone, you send, you know, two or three guys against Giannis. And now he's not that same player because once again, reinvention that we talked about, he hasn't reinvented his game or added, should I say, to his game. He doesn't, he doesn't need a full reinvention. He just needs to add a few things to his game to take him to that top level. And I think at this point, he hasn't done that. And that's what hinders him in the playoffs. And that's why the Bucks are a first round or second round exit all the time. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree with you. I'm gonna fuck up. This is your African king of comedy, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends real talk. Get real with it, my son.